In a new trend, more women are now deciding to remove their breast implants permanently. A number of celebrities are also having this explant. Chrissy Teigen, the latest to have the procedure, she got her breast implants taken out in May. Dr. Stephen Davis, a board-certified plastic surgeon from Davis Cosmetic Plastic Surgery, has joined us for a few moments to talk about the recent shift. Good morning, Dr. Davis. Good morning. How you doing? I'm great. Good to see you. I know you have to go, so we're going to quickly do this. Is this happening yeah. a lot, and are more and more women doing this? I think the trend now is to go smaller, tighter, more perky, and lifted. So if you've had implants in for as long as Christy Teigen's had them in, I think things have changed for her. She's had two kids. You know, when she initially did it, it was for another reason. And now I guess she really doesn't need them anymore. And now I think it's more about just getting them out and lifted and made more perky. Now tell me this, Dr. Davis, from both perspectives, a patient and for you, how difficult is this procedure for healing and then for what you have to go in and do? Right. A lot of it has to do with the capsule of scar tissue that the patient may have formed around that implant initially. Mm. So if that capsule is very soft and malleable, there's really not a lot of things you have to do. You take the implant out, clean up the inside there, and then make everything tighter. Okay. Some people, like Christy, that has had a couple of pregnancies, she may have needed a little bit of a lift as mm. well, because if the breast tissue kind of grew yeah. around the implant over the course of those 14 years, and sometimes you have to do a little bit more work just to make everything look lifted and perky. Gotcha. Here's a question for you, Dr. Davis. Chrissy yeah. said it. She got she got these, you know, in her 20s. She's now in her 30s. She didn't want them anymore. What would you say to young people? They may not be thinking about this when they first come in to see you for a consultation. But right. what should they think about, you know, in their future days or as they get older uh, when they come in to you as a young person? It's a great question. And I think one of the interesting things is the trends have really changed. So even young girls that are coming in to get a breast augmentation, because that's still a very, very popular operation, they're not going for the same sizes that they used to do about 14 to 20 years ago. Okay. Back then, I think the trend was more of a larger implant. But now, if a young lady really comes in and she wants to just enhance what she already has, the breast augmentation is still a very safe operation. It's still really good. But again, sometimes patients really have their own breast tissue that we can just make tighter and they don't need an implant at all. Ah. And we're seeing a lot more of that. I was going to say, things have changed completely since Chrissy first got her uh, augmentation. Yeah. So now you hear all these things about fat transfer. You can move it from parts you don't want it and put it where you need it and like it. That's exactly right. That's exactly what we're seeing. So now you can take it away from somewhere where you don't want it and put it into a place where you could use it. Dr. Davis, thank you so much. Get back to surgery. Good to see you. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. All Bye -bye, right. Lauren.